All right, I've got uh, got the bird, the chips kind of cleared away, re-oiled it, changed the bit out, and got the s the stop set again. So we're ready to just do our reaming out to 78,000. Again, the key is just to go really slow, especially on the second step because this is going to be what takes off the burr inside. You really just want to go nice and slow. It'll go in a lot easier than the last one too. It just slices right through it back out to clear chips. Nice and slow. Alright, we're through. And that's it. Hopefully that cleared the burr away. Uh, we'll run a bore snake through here a few times just to clear out any chips before we fire it. Um, but the really cool thing about setting it up this way with the block is once you're done, you can just kind of drop this table down a little bit just so that doesn't scrape. Um, you can just pull the barrel right out, a little wiggling, um, and you're already set up to put the next barrel back in. Um, and it should all be lined up and ready to go. Um, once you put your gas block on the next one, line everything up, you're ready to go again. You don't have to hassle with um, the really tedious part, which is which is getting this leveled and trued up. Uh, on both of those planes, that can be a little bit te tedious to get that done. So if you're doing multiple barrels, I highly recommend doing it with the um, action block, just to just have a receiver ready that you can slide the barrel into. Um, if you're just doing one barrel, if you don't have the action block, um, you can um, just use a couple pieces of wood, uh, put those in the in the vise as as jaws, or if you have some soft jaws for it, those work as well. Um, and you just it's a it's a lot more work to get everything lined up perfectly. Um, I just hang the receiver off of the back and use that as my reference for leveling. Um, get both planes leveled up, get it clamped down, and then all the rest of those principles apply. Just make sure that it's supported under the barrel by the by the drill press table here. Um, go nice and slow. Uh, again, I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure that you've got your gas block oriented in the right direction. Um, so that uh, you don't drill the hole too far forward. Um, another thing is uh, when you're lining it up, um, the thickness of a of this handguard um, retaining plate—I forget what they what it's called exactly right at the moment—but it's about thirty thousandths thick. Um, and so what I'll usually do is is only set this back from the shoulder about thirty thousandths away. You can get away with ramming it right up to it. Um, but really officially to be in the, it what would be considered the technically correct place, um, you'd want to space it out about 30 thousandths from the shoulder of the barrel before you drill it. Um, one of these days maybe I'll make a video on how to make one of these. This is just a gas block that I've dedicated to uh, being part of my poor man's jig um, for being able to do that. You can see I don't have the screw in there anymore. This set screw is what holds it in place. But uh, maybe one of these days I'll make a video on how to turn one of these into an adjustable gas block as well. Um, it's not very hard. So if I get some time, we'll, we'll see about doing that. In case you do dr uh, over gas it, um, if you find that 78 thousandths is too big, or if, or if you're one of those that likes to go clear out to the, to the outer tolerance and then uh, adjust it back in accordingly, um, that can be done just with the gas block. Um, essentially what you do is drill through this gas port you know, almost immediately across it. You don't go all the way through, but just on one side. Use a bottoming tap um, to tap for a set screw to go inside of there. Um, and then essentially what you do is just thread that in there, and as you back it in and out, it will block this, uh, this gas port. It will block the gas. You can control how much actually flows through there. Uh, even to the point of turning it completely off if you're, if you're using a suppressor or something like that. It's a little more tedious than some of the, the nicer ones that are out there, but it's also a hell of a lot cheaper. Uh, about 22 bucks, spend about 12 cents on a set screw, and uh, you'll have an adjustable gas block. It's just, like I said, maybe I'll, I'll do a video on, on that one of these days, but uh, for now, that's how you drill a, drill a gas port in a barrel. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer them.